So I get in the plane, and this, these days, I mean, we had a bunch of companies, business was okay, but I was still travelling in economy right at the back of the bus. So I'm in a row 195 in the middle seat, and I got this big bloke be beside me. We call them bushies in Australia. They live in the outback, right? They dress like, you know, stockmen. This guy's got arms like legs. He's got hands like plates. And he's kind of sitting beside me like this, and I'm taking up all of his chair and most of mine, and he says, he looks at Mate, you all right? I said, yeah, I'm okay, why? He said, you're kind of all grey. You're not going to throw up on me, are you? <laughs> and I said, no, no, I've just had a pretty bad morning at the office. Really? How bad? I said, well, it looks like I just lost about a million dollars. Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> and this kind of seems stupid, right? I've been in business for a number of years and... At that moment, I kind of figured I was going to get myself out of this mix. I mean, I pulled rabbits out of hats for a bunch of years and, you know, paid payroll on my credit card. I'd done all sorts of things as an entrepreneur just to get by. And I didn't think anything was going to be really bad until he said, that can't be good. And then all of a sudden, it was real. Now, the reason I start with this story is we've all had moments like that in business. And in fact, probably many of you have had that in the last couple of years. Pre-2008, life was pretty good. You were making some money, people were still booking events, you were out there doing your do as you always do, and then all of a sudden, everything turned on its head in 2008, and we had that moment, the oh dear moment. Oh dear, what's going to happen next? Now, as an Australian, I rarely use those words, oh dear, but given that we're in a mixed audience, I'll stick with oh dear. But you can imagine that, that that's that, that minute where you go, an event cancelled. It was our biggest event for the year. What am I going to do? Oh dear. Now we always have these things in business, but the problem is that we oftentimes ignore them. Or we power through the problem and just get busier and work harder in an effort to make up for some of the problems that we've got. Or we just simply perish because we can't keep up with the changes that have happened around us. So at this moment in time, I thought to myself, I need to learn from this experience. I need to really dig deep and try and work out how to never find myself in this position again. And I gathered up a bunch of pieces of paper, all the, um, the debtors and creditors and you know, profit and loss statements, and I put them all in a bag, and I scurried off home for a couple of days. And I sat at my dining room table with everything laid out, and I figured, well, I can power on through this as an entrepreneur and just work harder and sell a few things and get ourselves back on track, or I can take a moment and reflect on how I got here and how I might never, ever get here again. And the reason I wanted to try and push this home a little bit today is that this is your opportunity to do exactly the same thing. See, the economy's going to turn. It's going to come good in the next 12 months. You're going to see a lot more people booking events, and you're probably already seeing it happen now. I mean, I'm seeing it as a speaker. This has been a much better year than it was last year, and next year's looking fantastic already. But what can we learn from what we went through in 2008 and 2009 to make sure that we're more resilient for the next time this comes around? Because it will. What responsibility can we take for that right here today to prepare ourselves for a better future?